Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video we are going to learn how to create an extend partial and how to use that. Now remember an extend allows us to create one class and then reuse it over and over and over by nesting it inside another selector type. All right, and what we're gonna do here is we are going to create and extend what is gonna be called center block. A lot of times as we're styling in CSS, we need to center things. We always give it like a display of block and then like margin auto so that things uh, line up and are centered real nice. And a lot of the time we do that with like images and buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an extend uh, class and we're going to be able to use it on our image here and then our image down here. So let's dive into that. So over in our project, if we uh, come to our modules, um, actually not our modules, we're going to go one level higher into the uh, parent SAS file here. Uh, go here and create a new file and we're going to call this extend. This is a really cool partial to have because what we can do is any classes that we want to be able to reuse over and over throughout our project, um, we can go ahead and create it as an extend and use it anywhere we want to. So in here, we're only going to be adding uh, one class that we want to extend, but I just want to show you how you can create this file and what a, an extend class would look like. So I'm going to create a class and I'm just going to call this uh, center block. And then in this, uh, this is going to be used to help center and position content. And so we're going to give it a display of block. And then I'm going to give it a margin left of auto. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a margin right of auto. So this was very simple. We have created a class that we can now reuse over and over. So let's dive over into our um, uh, modules here. And we're going to be working with that image that is on the, uh, the banner. Now we've got the banner, uh, all of our classes and styles for the banner inside of here, but what we want to do is because we have a couple of images we're going to be working with on our web page, why don't we go ahead and create a new uh, partial here for images. So inside of our module folder, go ahead and click new file and we're going to call this images.sass. All right, and then uh, be sure in our module directory we come in here and we add the images. And while we're at it, let's make sure that we're in our app SAS file and we need to add the extend. So I'm just gonna do that right underneath the uh, variables here and we call the extend. Excellent. So now we have that uh, reusable class available to us and we've created this image here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's come over to our HTML and if we dive into where we are using uh, this image, you can see that we uh, were messing with the B video, which is the wrapper that was around this image. But then the image itself, it has this B image, B video image. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and you can get rid of that. And then let's come into our images here and grab that class. So the way that we use in extend is we use the at sign and then we write extend, all right, but only with one uh, curly at sign. And then we call the class, and we named this center block. So now what we've done is we've taken this one class, and then instantly, with just one line of code, uh, gave it a display of block, and then a margin with the left and right set to an auto. Now let's go ahead and add some uh, additional style properties here. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and add two more uh, style rules to this. We're simply gonna give it a width of 100%, and then we're gonna add some padding around this image so it will push the uh, header and the text away from the image. So go ahead and add a padding. We're gonna do 30 pixels from the top, zero left and right, and then we'll do 40 pixels from the bottom. And go ahead and save that. Switch on over to our browser and give it a refresh. And there you have it. So we have simply just added some padding uh, to the top of this image, pushed away from our header, and the paragraph text down below. That is a wrap for this video. Let's move on.